Hello, 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 week to warrior. People are cool. So I'm just pulling out a marker basket with my haul of ribeye and wagyu ground beef for the week so I can have all the yummy, delicious steak my body needs to feel tip top. And as I'm doing that, I'm about to pull through because there's no one in front of me. So I'm pulling right out, pulling through. And um, this woman pulls right in front of me and she's just, pulls right in, right there, I'm just like, ah, oh, so I go like this, put my hands up, and she like smiles, she goes, wait, so she pulls out, so I pull through, and she pulls through, it's really cool though, because people are cool, and it's just kind of fun, I was like, ah, oh, and she's just like, ah, oh, I got you, and I'm like, ah, oh. it was, it was just a really heartwarming moment, but anyway though, I just wanted to make this video, so quickly, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Devin Young, I did not sleep for about like 19 years, like horrible insomnia, two to three hours of sleep a night, two to three nights a week, <laughs> Entire weeks I didn't sleep, entire months I didn't sleep. Like, not a wink. Like, it was just horrible. Like, I had no idea what was going on. Doctors had no idea what was going on. They're just like, I don't know. It sounds like anxiety. It wasn't anxiety. I finally figured it out. It was just an elaborate health thing that involved me optimizing a lot of health things, removing various stressors that were contributing to it. Um, anyway, if you have insomnia, if you suffer from insomnia of any kind, then come to the webinar. I'm doing a webinar this week. Friday, Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time at www.weektowarrior.com, weektowarrior.org slash insomnia, www.weektowarrior.org, W-E-A-K-T-O-W-A-R-R-I-O-R dot org, O-R-G slash insomnia, I-N-S-O-M-N-I-A. It's also down below, you can get that in the description. So go there, register, you have to register for the webinar. When you register, I will send you a email containing a Zoom link that is your special Zoom link to get to the webinar. I'll also send you a questionnaire and stuff to help you better understand insomnia. Stuff is all available at the link provided down below. So go there if you have insomnia. Webinar is this Friday, it's gonna be amazing. Everything will be covered. There'll be a Q&A session afterwards. So. If you want to ask me questions, you got some burning questions you want to ask me, stick to the end of the webinar, you can ask me whatever you want. So, I was thinking though, as I'm doing this promotion of the webinar, as I'm making content, as I'm really like raising awareness for insomnia, I'm like, okay, that's really one thing I'm doing. I'm raising awareness of this type of insomnia that people aren't really aware of, like this treatment resistant insomnia that you take a bunch of benzodiazepines, you take whole combinations of drugs and you just won't fall asleep. It's this bizarre form of insomnia that I don't think we've seen before. It's not stress induced, it's not genetic, like it's not like people just have no ability to sleep. I mean, you've slept, the, if you're watching this, you've probably slept at some point in your life. Like there's an ability to sleep that's there, but there's some high degree of dysregulation resulting in a feeling of wired tiredness. So that's interesting. That interesting thought occurred to me. I'm like, wow, what I'm really doing is I'm raising awareness for an illness that people don't really know about. Like, as I understand it, people aren't really aware of insomnia of the sort I'm talking about. I mean, sure, they're aware of like sleep problems. Like, oh, people have sleep problems from time to time. You know, do your breathing exercises, don't stay on your phone, blue light, stress, don't eat too much before bed, carbs before bed, sugar before bed, caffeine before bed, all this stuff. Oh, did you take your magnesium, take your salt? Did you like take a hot cold shower? Did you like make sure to exercise? Like, it's not that. Like, it's not like people not exercising. Cause again, like I, one of like my, periods the worst insomnia I've ever had in my life was during wrestling season my junior year of high school and like it was like the month of like January like I shit blood I didn't sleep at all and it was during wrestling season though like I was wrestling like a crazy person so if exercise was something that resulted in sleep and fixed insomnia I would never have had insomnia it's definitely not that in fact exercise can often aggravate this kind of insomnia, but you want to exercise at the right time. You want to get your body to have a natural circadian rhythm through various means. But I mean, it's challenging though. It's this is really not a normal kind of insomnia. There are like autoimmune conditions I think that play into this. Like 
I think brain inflammation can play a large part of this, like people experiencing depression, anxiety, lots of mental disorders. A degree of inflammation of the brain is standard. Uh, I remember when I would have insomnia episodes, sometimes like I would just feel this feeling come on in my brain. I later learned things that caused this feeling. I could identify it very specifically, but I had this feeling come on in my brain. And I was just like, I'm not gonna sleep tonight. And because of this, I actually developed the highest degree of body awareness of anyone I've ever met because I just developed this very subtle awareness of like what would like when I was gonna sleep and when I wasn't gonna sleep. I just kind of feel it. I'd be like, okay, I'm gonna sleep tonight. Or be like, mm, I'm not gonna sleep tonight. And it wouldn't necessarily help, especially like in the beginning until really I did my long stretch of carnivore because that allowed me to start to really experiment. I had enough time sleeping, so my brain start working again, I'm sleeping, and I start figuring out, okay, like, carnivore fixes my insomnia, but what causes it? And that started its entire other train of investigation that, again, if you wanna find out about all this webinar, it's gonna be like the coolest thing ever. I'm literally like putting my heart and soul in this webinar. It's just gonna be the best. And ultimately to, to kill, <laughs> I'm gonna share a little bit. So my motivation for making this webinar is, and really getting rid of insomnia globally is, um, is revenge. So I, throughout the process of having insomnia, I would have like these like voices in my head. I mean, if you've stayed up for like five days or longer, then you know what it's like to have like voices in your head talking to you and like psychotic breaks. And, well, it's not really, that's not a true psychotic break at five days of no sleep. You just start hallucinating. Psychotic breaks I would actually have kind of independent of the insomnia episodes that I felt were just induced. They have like two or three times a year and those would be very short in duration, maybe an hour, two hours. And they really, they're just kind of random. I think that was just kind of like my brain trying to like off gas stress that it couldn't off gas and sleep. It would just, I would just have a psychotic break. And like I have a prodroma, like I would start to feel like derealization, depersonalization. Um, I would like start like, it's like this like thumping, like thumping, like thumping feeling noises. Um, my hands started to feel like balloon hands, like when you're very feverish as described in the song Comfortably Numb, that's very typical. Um, my hands started to feel like balloon hands, like, like pins and needles, like, it was like weird. It was like derealization, depersonalization type stuff. And like, it would be this mounting sense of panic. And then the, the culmination of the episode would be like me sitting somewhere. I just go sit somewhere. This happens since I was like, how long are you gonna remember? So I just became very used to it at an early age because I just like, I don't know. So I remember like specifically one time when I was like four or something or five, must've been five because my younger brother was more, it was really six actually. My younger brother was on the bunk bed beneath me. So I kept on like telling my parents that like the ceiling fan was yelling at me. Cause that's kind of what it sounded like. It'd be like these waves of crashing voices where like nothing seemed real. And I would like hyper fixate on like objects. <laughs> And they would like take up my whole mental space while I was like, ah, like, it's just really, really terrifying. And I tell my parents that and they like, first they came in, they're like, Devin, at first they're like, bad ceiling fan, don't yell at Devin. And then, then they kind of just like, they kind of like stopped humoring me at like the fifth time. And then I was like, oh wait, okay, they, they can't hear this. But like, I don't know, like I just, I kind of, the fact that they like humored me at first, I was like, oh, it is real, oh, it's not a problem. And then like, I don't know, like, it just, I was kind of chill. I was like, okay, whatever. Like, I guess this happens sometimes. It just goes away and I go to sleep, so. It didn't really bother me um, too, too much. I did, like, investigate it a lot throughout my life and didn't seem to be too concerning. I talked to one of my psych professors and neuroscience professors at UMass about it when I was at UMass Amherst studying neuroscience. And she told me that it was probably nothing to be concerned about because it wasn't getting worse. It just remained the same my entire life and that that was not a hallmark of onset schizophrenia. So, and I haven't had any in like years. So since I, like I was like 21, so wonderful. Um, but anyway though, so long periods of not sleeping, I would start to like, just it was just this like feeling of like, 
you like, like it, I don't know if I say certain words that YouTube will like downvote my videos, but like to telling you to on a live yourself and like, I just like, I don't know. Like I just never really resonated with that as a solution to things. So I spent a lot of time just studying the voice and kind of just paying attention to it. Cause it was never like, I also always knew that like the second I'd sleep, it just went away. Like, it wasn't like I actually had suicidal tendencies. It was just like, okay, I haven't slept for like three days, so now all my thoughts are constantly negative because just, uh, I mean, like, what else is it gonna be? Like, oh, I'm gonna have happy, positive, uplifting thoughts when I haven't slept for three days? How's that gonna work? It's not gonna work. So all my thoughts were constantly negative. And yeah, yeah, so like, I, but I realized though, I'm like, I'm not just gonna blow my brains out because like, I didn't sleep. Like, that's so silly. Like, I will sleep eventually. A belief that was tested that many times. Um, but yeah, so I was like, well, I'm not gonna like take a permanent solution to a temporary problem. So I just kept on studying the voice and I eventually, like I came to a very strong conviction. I still have this conviction that it's like, I, I don't really know what it is per se, but what I'll say what it is to me, it's this, so it's universal. It doesn't just affect me according to my belief structure that I insanely developed about the voices in my head that told me to unalive myself when I had insomnia for multiple days on end throughout most of my life. So this is an insane rant. So if you want to listen to the absolute madness that comes next, like go for it, but please don't take any of this as like a theological statement about the universe or some like actual statement about reality. This is just much more of like the thoughts that I developed. And I think these things are true, but I also probably lost my mind in the process of thinking these things. So like, let's just take them for what they are. So I don't believe that this is a universal voice. This isn't just something that affects me. This is something that affects everyone. It's this universal tendency towards death and like giving up and like, like just succumbing. It's like that, that, that like, that like the gazelle goes through when it gives up in the cheetah's jaws. It's death. Maybe, I mean, I don't know, maybe it's a more impersonal insomnia demon. I'm kind of like figuring this out, but like, it's like this death tendency. And with the death tendency, there's like, like it's constantly just like, like, okay, so here's the same thing. So let's say I know that I'm not gonna sleep because I didn't take magnesium or something. And I've done crazy stuff to get magnesium. I've had like Uber drivers, like go to CVS and pick up magnesium for me when I've been like stuck at places that I was working and I couldn't leave. Like I just, I do weird stuff to get what I need. Um, so there's like one voice in my head that's just like, no, it's okay. Just, just don't, don't be, don't be needy. Don't like have excessive needs. Like, just tough it out. It'll be fine. You don't, you don't really need. It's like, but I do know. I mean, there's points in time where you're being a little bitch, and you should stop being a little bitch. But there's points in time where like you need to do something, and like you gotta like. It's like no, no, don't. And then it's like you'll have the insomnia be up. It's like ha ha. You're just awake again. You little broken piece of shit. You broken piece of shit. You're just gonna die because you're just broken. You're not gonna be able to do anything. You can't like accomplish your dreams. Look at you. You can't even sleep. You're gonna live like a shit life tomorrow. You can't even control yourself. You're just gonna like. It just goes on and on and on and on. And then it just like like it just tries to like eat at you. It's just like 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 it, it gets this combination of like you're broken with you have this problem of insomnia with like everything that negative that I would think about myself if I didn't have the problem of insomnia and it just goes and it just goes and goes and I realized though I realized that voice isn't me and I'm like okay well if that's not me then that means that I can kill it because it tried to kill me and it couldn't so I'm gonna kill it and I'm gonna kill it by educating everyone on exactly what it is and how to kill it themselves. That's what this webinar is. This webinar is like, <laughs> at the very least, this webinar is um, my, and this whole mission, Week to Warrior, the whole insomnia spreading, word spreading, raising awareness for this type of insomnia. This is like, like I'm not gonna, not only will I personally triumph over that demon, but it's like I escape from the snake's lair. Like there's this like demon snake, like in the fucking heart of the mountain. 
and it like got me and I was like tormented in its lair for like 20 years and I just watched it like eating other people the whole time and the whole time it's like you'll never escape and I escaped and like not it's not enough that like I should escape but I must also like race an army and go back to the mountain and kill the fucking snake and mount its head in a fucking spear it's a fucking lesson to anything that wants to fuck with me or my loved ones or the fucking human race so that's how my circles go so It's like bacterial infections killing people before penicillin. I don't know. So it's just this personal vendetta I have. Because, like, I went through hell to learn how to fix this thing. And, like, I can't just go through hell to, and then, like, just li pretend to live a normal life. Like, I don't, I don't even know what that would be. Like, I feel like someone who was in, like, a POW camp for, like, 20 years and they finally, like, broke out. And I'm just walking around. Everyone's, like, just living their normal life, supposedly. And I'm just like... Like, is it gonna come back? Like, are they gonna snatch me again? Like, he's just, I'm like, like, literally, I'm like, what the, like, what am I going to do? So, I don't know. So, I just, um, not only is it not enough that I fix insomnia globally, but I must also establish a complete new system of medicine and health so as to define exactly why that happened and ensure that it never happens again to me or anyone. And then I will consider my life a success. And I will consider the shit that I had to deal with, dealt with. It's going to be my webinar. It's going to be awesome. And uh, like, share, comment, subscribe, guys. Can't wait to see you there. Tune in tomorrow.